हॅलो एव्हरी वन माझेल डॉक्टर संतोष छायेड एम फॉर्म पी एच डी फार्मास्युटिकल केमिस्ट्री इन दिस व्हिडिओ आय एम गोईंग टू डिस्क्राईब कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिव्हिटी दॅट इज सम एलिमेंट्स दे डू हॅव ॲफिनिटी फॉर बॉन्डेड पेअर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स अँड ॲज अ कन्सिक्वेन्स ऑफ दॅट बिकॉज ऑफ मुवमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स वाय अ बॉन्ड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स स्पेअर कम्पॅरेटिव्हली मोर टाईम अराउंड सर्टन elements which are electronegative and as a consequence of that those elements acquire negative charge this concept is very much same as that of game tug of war where mighty team powerful team always wins by pulling the rope towards their side so analogy is because some mighty elements are there as far as the electron affinity is concerned they always win by pulling bonded pair of electrons towards themselves now before we start as an beginner those who have started uh, uh, learning organic chemistry there are certain points which are very easy but we will come across again and again so that's what i feel we must know their meaning and before we proceed for electronegativity we'll see in brief what is mean by uh, or what is the exact meaning of certain point is that is first one charge on the element so whenever we observe charge on el- any element so whether it is positive charge or negative charge charge indicates instability so both positive as well as negative charge if it is present on the element its meaning is very clear that element is not stable and depending upon charge whether it is positive or negative that element will try to stabilize by either accepting or donating the electrons now when we observe next uh, uh, point that is when we observe negative charge on any particular uh, element its meaning is that that particular uh, element or species or group is reach in electron negative charge is because of high density of electron again it is unstable so we already discussed charge indicate instability and even if it is negative charge even element is reach in electron it is unstable and in order to stabilize it will always share its electron with some other species which is in search of electron next is that is a positive charge when we observe positive charge the meaning is that that particular element is deficient in electron and it is in search of electron and we will say it is unstable now whether it is po- uh, positive or negative but if partial charge is there which is indicated by the sign delta its meaning is that that uh, particular element is again uh, electron deficient or electron reach depending upon positive or negative sign but bond is not broken down and movement of electron is there towards particular element when we observe full positive charge full negative charge its meaning is that that particular uh, uh, species is ionic in the nature now we'll we'll discuss this whatever we all learn in the form of an illustration so this is an example of acetic acid and in case of we'll focused first on carbonyl group where in between carbon and oxygen oxygen is electronegative it has got tendency to pull bonded electron towards itself as a consequence of that electron density will be high on the oxygen and it will acquire negative charge but as bond is intact bond is not broken down charge will be partial and not full now this carbon which is a part of carbonyl group is deficient in electron but due to uh, uh, presence of double bond we will not write here full positive charge rather we will write here as a partial charge so partial charge indicate again same uh, it has same meaning deficiency of electron but bond is intact and when this bond between o and h of acetic acid is broken down electron are retained on oxygen so oxygen has acquired lone uh, excess uh, unshared pair of electron and which is indicated by a negative sign whereas hydrogen has departed leaving electron pair behind and 
it has got full positive charge so these are ions so acetate ion and H plus ions now we will move ahead to the point what we have planned to discuss that is electronegativity basically electronegativity is the one uh, which is uh, uh, useful in understanding most of the phenomena which which arise uh, which occurs in the uh, organic chemistry due to movement of electrons in the bond now this concept electronegativity it was first proposed by scientist Pauling in the year 1930 and he observed that few elements have a tendency to pull bonded electron towards themselves and later on this tendency of pulling bonded electrons toward themselves is termed as electronegativity name has been given electronegativity so what happens in that case electrons spend comparatively more time near the electronegative element and as a consequence of that it acquires negative charge so definition of electronegativity is it is a tendency of a bonded atoms to attract electrons towards itself now we'll see how this concept is relevant in uh, or it is related uh, uh, in understanding of other concepts like in uh, it is uh, useful in understanding indu inductive effect to compare the strengths of acids to compare the strengths of base chemical reactivity stability and so on further this concept is also useful in understanding in spectroscopy particularly infrared spectroscopy and NMR spectroscopy that is factors affecting absorption in uh, IR and factors affecting delta value in NMR spectroscopy so we will see some uh, relevance uh, of electronegativity with chemical bond we will we have decided to restrict our discussion in this particular video to only uh, uh, nature of chemical bond so meaning is that we will use this concept in understanding why some bonds are polar why some bonds are non-polar and why bonds are ionic in nature or by looking at particular bond we get idea whether that bond is a polar non-polar ionic and so on now how this is useful this understanding of nature of a bond will help students and scientists for doing some experimental work like in chromatography spectroscopy and other related study where we deal with solubility behavior of the compound so we know polar dissolve in polar non-polar dissolve in non-polar and so on so understanding this concept is very much important so if you observe carefully periodic table and when we move from left to right that is from non uh, from metallic element to non metallic uh, elements electronegativity value increases so when it starts from one uh, color indicates the scale uh, electronegativity value of uh, these uh, metallic element is one and it increase even beyond three or something like that so for sake of understanding what I have done is I have erased few of the element so that we will focus a uh, few element so that things will become easier for us now elements like boron carbon nitrogen oxygen and fluorine their electronegative value is 2 2.5 3 3.5 and 4 respectively now i just made mention electronegative value increases from left to right of the periodic table similarly electronegativity value increases from bottom to top so what we can say is this corner right cor right up corner of the periodic table have element which are electronegative in the nature so when it comes fluorine halogens are there like chlorine bromine iodine so among these iodine is the least electronegative than fluorine and then chlorine and bromine so on we will see how these electronegativity value are helpful or how we will use this information in understanding the bonds so for sake of understanding 
I have taken simplest example of CH bond, HCl bond and NaCl bond so that it will become easier for us to understand what is the concept of electronegativities and how we can determine their differences. So if we consider electronegative value of carbon that is 2.5, electronegative value of hydrogen is 2.2. So if we take difference, difference will be 0.3. Similar in case of HCl bond, difference in the electronegativity is 0.9 and in case of NaCl bond, difference in the electronegativity is 2.1. So difference in the electronegativity is the crucial factor which will decide nature of bond. So when difference is less than 0.4, bond will be non-polar covalent. When difference is between 0.4 to uh, 2, bond will be covalent polar. And when difference is more than 2, bond will be ionic in the nature. So that's how difference in the electronegativity between uh, two elements which are linked by one uh, uh, bo linked by a bond to one another so that difference will tell us what is the nature of that particular bond is so we'll take few more example so for example chlorine uh, uh, molecule so two elements are same so there is no question of difference in the electronegativity it will be zero and somehow the electron uh, will distribute equally around the two uh, elements and which is indicated by the shape. Now if you consider uh, example of HCl bond, now difference we already determined which is more than 0.4. So uh, it is a polar bond, polar covalent bond and electron will spare comparatively more time around chlorine because chlorine is electronegative than hydrogen. So now what will happen? Chlorine will acquire delta negative charge, partial charge because bond is intact. It's not broken down and what it is there that is density of electron around the chlorine is higher. Whereas hydrogen become deficient in electron so it will acquire positive charge and as bond is intact the positive charge that is partial delta charge is there over. So difference will tell us whether the bond is polar, non-polar and so on. Now poles in physics means charge. So when bond is non-polar there is no poles. When due to difference in the electronegativity delta minus and delta plus charges are there means delta negative and delta positive poles are formed and we say that bond is polar in the nature or dipole is there. Now next case of sodium chloride bond, it is uh, difference in the electronegativity is uh, more than 2.1. So it is ionic bond and somehow a full positive and full negative charge will be there on sodium and chlorine respectively. So this is how electronegativity is helpful in understanding uh, whether bond is polar, non-polar or ionic. Now we will move ahead and we will try to find out why certain elements are electronegative. Means we already made mention when we move from left to right of the periodic table electronegative value increases but we must think why this is so. Why some elements which are there on extreme right hand side of the periodic table they have this tendency to pull bond electron towards themselves and why the uh, elements which are there on the left hand side of the periodic table they don't have this tendency so there is some uh, there are some factors because of that this element behave like that is they behave uh, as an electronegative element and we'll try to find out the reason reason is when we move from left to right down the periodic table atomic number increases further nuclear charge increases as a consequence of that and most important factor from left to right of the periodic table atomic size goes on decreasing means what fluorine has uh, lowest atomic size and how these things affect so if you consider atomic number atomic number 
when increases the intense positive charge of the nucleus increases higher the atomic number nucleus is intensely positive because of number of protons means what higher the number of proton present in the nucleus so when particular nucleus is rich in proton its charge is positive as compared to other element which is linked to it by a bond what will happen that positively charged uh, uh, nucleus will always pull bonded electron towards itself because of unlike charges so this is one reason and that's what i have written here nuclear charge increases because of increase in the atomic number now second thing uh, that is uh, nuclear size decreases from left to right means what nucleus is become intensely positive and a uh, surrounding electrons which are there in valence shell they are quite closer to the nucleus comparatively to the elements which are there on the left hand side that is metallic uh, element now what will happen first positive charge nucleus and second thing electrons valence shell electrons they are close so this particular attraction or ability to get pull electrons by the nucleus increases so these are the two reasons which are responsible for the electronegativity that is increase atomic number and decrease atomic size of the elements we will see this uh, phenomena we will try to apply what we have understood that is we will try to correlate atomic number with atomic number and atomic size with electronegativity of uh, few elements which are there in front of us that is boron carbon nitrogen oxygen and fluorine so from periodic table trend we have understood electronegativity value increases from boron to carbon to nitrogen oxygen to fluorine and so on now if we consider their electronic distribution for boron 2 3 electrons are there 2 4 electrons are there or when we move from left to right you will observe atomic size decreases so atomic size uh, of the uh, fluorine is decreased is small as compared to oxygen and as compared to nitrogen carbon and boron respectively so first thing nucleus has positive charge and this positive charge is increasing from left to right so you can observe in case of fluorine it is intensely positive charge which is indicated by a larger sized green color and at the second uh, and second thing these valence electrons because of smaller atomic size they are further close to the fluorine as a consequence of that intensely positive char charge nucleus will always pull electrons towards itself so this is the reason why elements they do act as a uh, electronegative or why some elements have a tendency to pull pull bonded electron toward themselves because of two reasons increased atomic number and decreased atomic size now we will see in case of hcl bond so uh, we we already discussed this bond but i just want to uh, discuss how uh, electron they become they spare more time around chlorine because of Uh, electronegative nature of chlorine means bond will be there but these electrons will uh, spare more time around the chlorine as compared to hydrogen as a consequence of that chlorine will have negative charge that's all we'll stop here